Good morning. Today I, Ayushi, NCC candidate from Army Public School Milan Sahib, is here to deliver my speech on the topic Indian Army, a symbol of unity in diversity. Unity in diversity. What does it mean? Anekta me ekta. Now, if we talk about our society, then no one is same. We all are different from each other. We have different thoughts, different opinions, different mindsets, different nature, and even different physical properties. Other than that, in many parts of India, we are differentiated on the basis of our color, our religion, our caste, our social, economic, and cultural background since our birth. But the question arises that in such a huge and diverse country like India, does unity exist? And if it exists, then ask from yourself that it really totally exists or it is just alive in some parts of India only. Now, the topic we have is Indian Army, a symbol of unity in diversity. In the topic itself, it is clearly said that Indian Army is a symbol of unity in diversity. But how? Army is a group of soldiers and these soldiers are not from a particular region or a particular state but from the whole nation. Hence, they belong to different caste, different color, different social, economic and cultural background but still they are one. How? Now let us learn some features of our Indian army which make them one. First, in our Indian army, soldiers are never discriminated on the basis of their caste, their religion, their color or their social, economic and cultural background. Even soldiers can create their own identity based on their hard work. In our Indian army, all the religions are placed equally. Whether it is Holi or Dipavali or Guru Purav or Eid or Christmas, all the festivals are celebrated with a lot of love and joy, hence promoting the idea of equality. And as we know that, equality is the first step to the ladder of unity. The second thing is the sense of togetherness between them. Our Indian soldiers, no matter which caste or which color, but they perform all the activities together, they plan together, they perform their tasks together, they take their training together, they fight against their enemy together and they celebrate their victory together. The sense of togetherness makes them together. Hence, the togetherness is the second step to the ladder of unity. Then comes support. A biggest support for a person is their family. But our soldiers are not able to be with their family all the time. Hence, whenever they are feeling depressed or they are sad or they are missing their family, the other soldiers support them by sharing their own experiences, by sharing their own stories and then they became family for each other. That's the reason support is the third step to the ladder of unity. The fourth and the final step is the trust. Trust is the most important part here. Because trust work like a thread which binds them all together and make them one. Believe me, if our Indian soldiers would not have these features, if they were not equal, if they were not together, if they were not able to support each other and if they were not able to trust each other, then our India would not be able to win a single war. But our Indian army have all these features and hence they are united. Because they know that when they are united, then they are stronger. But this thing should not be till here. We should learn something from our Indian army and implement them in our life also. We all should be equal. We all should be together. We all should support each other and we all should trust each other. Now, with the name of trust, it is commonly said that nowadays no one is able to trust. So, Let's get together and create a safe environment where everyone can trust each other, everyone can support each other, everyone is equal and everyone is together. Till then, remember that when we are together, then we are stronger. Thank you. Jai Hind.